Did you know that Fidel Castro was the one that helped defeat white racists in South Africa and then end apartheid while America did nothing? American schools in American media will never tell you the truth. Pay attention. Blue diamonds. We had to solve the problem. Enviaron. Enviamos muchas de nuestras mejores unidades. We sent many of our best divisions, pilots, planes. And we said to them, we are going to prevent the South Africans from acting. When we arrived there, there was a great crisis. It was when the Quito Juanavale battle took place. ¿Sabe cuántos hombres envió Cuba a Angola en ese momento? Do you know how many troops Cuba sent to Angola that moment? 55,000 troops. 55,000 hombres. Lo cual habría y voluntarios todos. And all of them on voluntary basis. That's the most important thing of all. In Quito, Guanavale, se estrellaron los racistas. And in Quito, Guanavale, the, the races could not win. Allá, la allá al este. They y wanted este. to have the battle to the east. In a difficult place. Y allí le hicimos la trampa. But there we lay a trap for them. Trampa, la we lay a trap against which they clashed. Se en un because se there, trampa. Quito, Guanavale became a symbol. Las we sent the necessary forces. Para to stop the South Africans' advancement and to allí. force them to uh, defeat. While we moved 40,000 Cuban troops 20, and 20,000 Angolan troops hacia el to the southwest para to threaten them on the other side to stop the South African army from trying something different. So we were able to create the necessary balance of power simply to stop them and to attain victory. So the implementation of Resolution 435 and at the end to put an end to apartheid. That was our contribution to the heroic struggle of the South African people. You know, at the United Nations, at the United Nations, they don't speak about that. We have heard a great number of speeches. People spoke about the independence. They applauded the independence of the African country. It would seem that that was the work and miracle of the United Nations. Se hablaba del fin de la apartheid. There were talks about the, the end of apartheid. Obra y milagro, like the work and miracle of the United Nations. De las Naciones Unidas. No se mencionó un solo cubano de los que murieron. There was no mention about one Cuban no of the many Cubans who died there. nombre de Cuba. The name of Cuba was not even mentioned. Vean cómo a veces. So look how sometimes. Se pretende. People intend to write history forgetting reality. Yo soy Madiva, yo soy Cubano y Sudafricano. That's what I wrote. Madiba and Castro had strong bonds. You have praised Fidel Castro as a leader of human rights and said that Cuba was one of the countries that's head and shoulders above all other countries in human rights, despite the fact that documents of the United Nations and elsewhere show that Cuba is one of the worst. I was just wondering, are these your models of leaders of human rights? And if so, would you want a Gaddafi or an Arafat or a Castro to be a future president of South Africa? One of the mistakes which some political analysts make is to think that their enemies should be our enemies. <laughs> that 
that we can and we will never do. We have our own struggle which we are conducting. We are grateful to the world for supporting our struggle. But nevertheless, we are an independent organization with its own policy. And the attitude of every country towards our attitude towards any country is determined by the attitude of that country to our struggle. Yasser Arafat, Colonel Gaddafi, Fidel Castro support our struggle to the hilt. There is no reason whatsoever why we should have any hesitation about hailing their commitment to human rights as they are being demanded in South Africa. Our attitude is based solely on the fact that they fully support the anti-apartheid struggle. They do not support it only in rhetoric. They are placing resources at our disposal for us. to win the struggle.